In the realm of business, ensuring accuracy and customer data is paramount and variations in name spellings can lead to confusion. If you're not, I'll show you a simple yet powerful solution using Excel's data manipulation capabilities. Learn how to effortlessly match customer names with different spellings, ensuring professional and reliable image for your business. Whether you're a small business owner or a data savvy professional, mastering this technique will give you time and resources, leaving you would immaculate customer records. Stay tuned to learn how. So here I got a list of customer names. You can see these are probably different ways that a customer name could be inputted into a database or you get these from people putting it into a form. And you can see they're all different. So what we can do is we can create a pivot table here initially. I'll put pivot table here and I'll put it in the existing worksheet, put in column F, click OK, put the customer here and let's put the customer also in the values. So we want to count our customers. You can see that the customer shows up a couple of times. 3M shows a couple of times, at t Co shows up a couple of times. See here, at t Co, it just aggregates all that. Now we want a common name for at t or 3M. And what we can do is we can take this data and just take the pivot table here and control C to copy. Let's bring it into a new worksheet. And we just paste and we'll paste values. We don't need to bring any other formatting. Click here, double click to auto fit the columns. And what we wanna do is this is already sorted. For the most part, it's already sorted, but just in case I'm gonna do Alt DS and bring up the sort and we wanna sort by customer name. And my data does have others. Just make sure that it's all sorted. So here we have a couple options. We may think, oh, okay, we have 3M. Maybe I like 3M for at t I don't like to have the periods here. I can do at t but that's one way to do it. Another way we can do it. And I'll do it where it's the most common way that it's being spelled here in this particular instance. So I'll just put customer two here. And I'll look through 3M, all right? We've got 3M here. And it's a tie between 3M Corporation and 3M. So I'll just choose 3Ms because that's shorter. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Do the same for AT&T. These are all instances of AT&T. And what we can do is look into here. And look here, AT&T, that's the most common way. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And I'll do the same for the other ones and speed up this video. So we have this outlier here, big blue. We know this is IBM. What I'm gonna do is Select that range, I've got three columns here. Select that range here, right click and just move this down over here, anywhere where it says IBM. And it's gonna give me a little contextual menu here. I do shift down and then move. So it basically moves it all, this row, whole row all down there. Now I'm gonna take my customer here. I'm just gonna take the customer to and copy the name here and I'll paste it where it's supposed to align to. Control C to copy and 3M over here. Control V to paste. Do the same thing for at t Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And let's speed this up because I'll be doing the same thing. So now essentially we have a lookup sheet. I don't need this column anymore. Select that, right click and delete. Double click this, the auto fit here. And I've got my lookup column. Now I can go back into my other sheet and here I can put my customer two column here. And now it's just a lookup. I'll use XLOOKUP, press tab, look up this customer and go back into this sheet. What's my lookup array? I'm gonna look up this, press F4 to make sure the dollar signs are in front here, it doesn't change. And then my return array, comma, my return array, what do I wanna return? I wanna return these values that align to it. Press F4, close parentheses, press enter. So now it matches there. So I'll double click this to auto fit and now you can see that the names match up. Click anywhere in my pivot table, click pivot table analyze. And what we're gonna do is change the source data. And we have that extra column C now. So I just want to add column C in there because that's my lookup column. Click okay. And nothing's changed, but now you've noticed, but now I've got the customer two field here. So I'm gonna move that here, take customer out, and now move sales units in, take the count of customer out. Now I've got my unique list of customer names and it's not all over the place. If I still wanted to have the original customer names, I can just bring them in here as a secondary row and you can collapse it. Right click here, go under expand collapse, just collapse entire field and we can have that set. If we ever wanted to look at the variations of our customer names, you can just double click it and you can see it there, double click it, we'll close it again. And that's the way that we can use pivot tables and lookups to help you fix these different customer names in your scenarios. Mastering the art of fixing customer names spelled differently in Excel is a vital skill that ensures accuracy and professionalism in your business. With this method, you'll gain the confidence to tackle data discrepancy effortlessly, leaving you with perfect customer records. Remember to share this video with your fellow Excel friends and stay tuned for more exciting content. Thanks for watching.